All right, here's a lesson on Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You by Led Zeppelin. We got an A minor chord, we got a finger picking thing. So we're using all those fingers. Now, the first time we skip to the pinky down here on the bottom string. Okay, so that's like kind of a C chord, but you got a G bass. You bring this pinky in here on the second string. So once again. Got a D with an F sharp bass here. You always need a finger free for that one down there. Then F, E. Sometimes we put that high note in there. Come down to the lower one sometimes. Sometimes do that high note twice. F6 to regular F, E7 to E. So that's 7, 9, and 8 down here with the open strings, not the biggest one, but back to like that A minor shape, that's 7th and 6th fret. trick that he does that I kind of like is like how he starts his solo. That kind of thing. He's going up that 2 one oh. Down the rest of the notes are like the C scale. Yeah. All right, here's how to play Your Time Is Gonna Come by Led Zeppelin. You got a D chord, you're gonna go up each note. And then you're gonna switch to this C add nine kind of chord, or kind of like a G chord with a C bass. And then you're gonna hit those last three as you pull that pinky out, so. Move your bass to here. A little riff. So that was O2 on the 5th string, O3, O3 on the D string, so you got... Now, the cool part later on, you got a D triad down here, this is 7-7-5. Seven, seven, That's kind of like an A shape with a B on there, so kind of an A9 with a D bass. So you got D, A, and we're going to pull that pinky out and get those other three there. So. Kind of strum the D to the G. Time we got Okay, starting out with Achilles last stand, we got this F sharp power chord down here. But if we're gonna do like a minor out of it, we're gonna put a third fret on the second string, that sharp five down there. So 
all five of those strings, and then so that's two O on the E, three O on the B, and then the G string open. So we got. Then we're going to this E minor seven. It's got that three on the second string with the twos. Same riff. Okay, so that's your intro. Let me get up here to this E minor top. So this is the seventh fret E minor chord. I got the top three strings of it. We slide up two frets to that F sharp minor. So we got, and then a little riff. So that's seven, eight, and nine here in the D string. That's a B minor seven, nine, seven, ten, seven. Kind of just hitting those three though. That's your B minor top, nine, seven, seven, seven. And then when the singing starts, he adds this low bass note. So it does a bunch of those. Then you're going to have one, this power chord E here. You're going to have. So that's E with D, D sharp, E, and you have an F in there too. So you got. And then back to. Okay, then later we're going to have we're going to have this riff down here. So E, F sharp, G, A, B, G, C, D, E, F sharp, G, E. Back into that, and later on you got another thing. We got the E power chord and C third fret. A couple times of that. Then you got another one later. We're gonna go. that for a while and then we're gonna have after the last um G E we're gonna come up here to this F sharp ninth fret F sharp minor chord to E E to D F sharp minor E A to D twelfth fret thing going down the neck down these chords C sharp minor B A get a 3 2 0 oh, there at the end so once again that was
and jump down to the higher notes. That kind of rake in so I can start at the high note there instead of a, instead of a low note. Here goes the ocean. So that's a D string, five to seven. And then five, seven, eight, going down the strings there. We got D, E, G, D, E, A, C sharp, A, D, and E. So we got. So you do that for a while, and then you get these chords. D, C. A, G, A, back to the D. Eventually, back to that. Now the second time, that starts the vocal break. So the vocal break on guitar would be in the A minor pentatonic scale. same type of stuff. Later on in the song you're going to have a D up to E. Then we're going to have a riff. So that's 4 and 6 on the G string. 7 and 6 on the D. 2, 4, 2, 4 on the D and A strings. So we got second one, you're going to come up here on the B string, go to 9 to 10. Okay, once again, that was. So that whole thing. Let me give you one more riff here. So this is like D to E, these shapes up here. So it's starting on the 11 to 12. So that slid up to the three of that chord. So and then you got that's twelve, ten, ten. And then fourteen, twelve, twelve. Bend that fifteenth fret in the last one so you got. Alright, here goes part two of the Led Zeppelin lesson. We're going to start out with rock and roll. So this is an A chord right here, your A power chord. The first riff is... Okay, so you got your A chord, another A chord, then you got this C sharp here. So, two, five, two, four, then you go to the three on that A string. Kind of pull that one off. So that's kind of one of those honky tonk riffs. If you did the whole measure, it would be. But you've held this three over into the first eighth note of that new measure, so you just end up with. Okay, so the whole thing. Same thing down in the D string. Back. A big E string. Back to A. Okay, then the verse thing is going to be this G note here to the A power chord. And that was a pull off three to open on the E string there. So it's. string. I'll 
I'll put that finger down here, like from a D chord. You don't want the bottom string on this. You just want a five chord here. But uh, sometimes, if sometimes people use that first finger, they accidentally get that two down there. You definitely don't want that. So you want your D chord here. Do the C bass to that D five chord. Same kind of pull off there, three to open. And you got this honky tonk thing on the E. We're gonna stop on a D chord there. Etc. All that, and you get your E. A power chord again. You're going to use a G and an E, and the E's octave. So that's O, 2, O. Then we got this A chord. That's a D with the A bass. like the A flat over here, the G sharp. So you're still doing the A bass when you do these other chords. like E minor pentatonic scale here. We're going to do two hammer-ons. Okay, so that's the A string, O to 2, and the D string, O to 2. And the big E. We're going to go to this G string. So we bend it up, bend it down, pull it off, another pull off in the 2 to O. So second time. to do the octave you can come up here to the seven and the nine to the E there so that's a D string and then G string and A string seventh fret so here's your tenth fret B string bending up and then down to the eight to that nine there so that's the same as this it's a higher octave okay so Okay, our next riff is going to be 9 on the D string and 7 on the G string. And then 7 and 6. Put some chicks in there. That's 5 to 6 on the D string. And then 3, O. Oh, so we got... Here, seven and nine in the G string, and then we're going back, hammer on, pull off, and then so all together. And the end of it is in the D string, five, seven, seven, five, seven on the A, three, five on the A, A power chord there. So. Now, 
Now the next part is the same type of riff starting on the big string that has a different timing to it. So where that first note, the first time, is like a pickup, the next time it's on the downbeat, so I actually play with it down instead of an up. That's how they connect. One more time. That's the same riff. Five, six, seven. Back to that seven. So that was seven, five, six, seven, five, seven again. Back to the five, six, seven in the lower note again. And you're back. There we go. C to A there. And that's that fourth fret of the G string, so. A, C power chord, A. That time kind of goes to that C sharp there, so all together be like. A, C. Sometimes live, Jimmy Page would go. And you gotta give it a waiver there, that big, uh, taking that G to an A with a bend. Okay, so our next part is going to be A, G, A, G. A, G, A, C, A. A, G, A, G. And then G chord to D chord. And it's kind of helpful to do an upstroke for that A and a downstroke on the G. Thing you can add, they kind of do live some of those. So here's a lesson on Ramble On by Led Zeppelin. So the first rhythm we're going to have is... So it's basically E and D. So you could have this whole... You could be doing the big E string and the 7, 9, 9, 9. Or you could kind of mute that A string and have the 9s go back to these 7s. I'm not really bother with that 7th fret of the A string. But you can hit that big bass note E with both of those. So when we get here, we're doing part of an A chord. So we have the open A, and then we have seven, six, five, and open. And we're gonna hammer immediately into the seventh fret of the G string with this pinky. Kind of strum a little bit and then pull off at the end. Back to the other part. I've also seen some tabs that had this as the chord, where it's like open and then nine, seven, nine, open, open. That's that third chord, kind of has a nice ring to it. That could really be the way to. I kind of just kind of cheat and go, you know, E to D to E, but think about adding that other one if you like that too. So you kind of have a bass note and then you hammer right away on that A. And 
see how that E can kind of hit before the chords do. It can be like right with them, or it can be kind of like boom, da da da. So you can hit kind of with it, or you can hit kind of the bass note before that. Okay, so that is the rhythm that starts out the song. That's the intro. That goes four times, and then he sings over that with the verse eight times. And then we've got this little bend riff. So you can either do this bend riff here with the seven and five on the second string. And you pull, you go up and down and you pull off. Then you go to the sixth fret of the G string. Or you could do that riff here up on the 11th fret of the G string with 11s and 9s. So I'm going to do it here and then I'm going to come down to these pull offs 7 to 6 on the G string, 11 to 9 on the D string, 7 to 6 on the D string. And if you wanted to do the bend in the other place the second time. That's that little part right there, it goes twice. So then we have a different rhythm for the chorus. So that's gonna be more of a, um, a little bit different of a rhythm there. Has some percussive kind of attack kind of things there. Now at this point you've got open on the A and then you got five open, three open. Sliding up to the seven and the five here. what we got so far. So let's try to play that nice and slow. Three, four. Look at the next riff. So let's do that nice slow. Three, four. Okay, then our chorus rhythm. Then we're going to have a new thing. We're going to have a. So that's 10th fret of the E string. We're going to go 10 and then pull off and then pick the 10 again. And we're going to do that three times in a row. Go to the 12 and then. So that's the main thing going on there. So we got hold that one. So that's that part. So three times like that, and then you hold that a little bit before that next rhythm comes in. But then there's lower harmony on that 12th fret of the B string, the B note. So you hold that 12, and then you go 12 and 10. When you go to a higher note, it's the ninth fret of the E string. Do that three times. rhythm.
But then there is this other part here. And then a verse starts right there. So that is 9 and 7 pull off, and then 10 and 7, and then 9. Do that twice, so two times through. And then we got a short one. Just does those three notes. So we got. And then we'll start it over. Then we're gonna have a different ending. So that's 10 and 7 on the second string. And then it starts over. for at that time to start that E chord again. So we got Now that has a higher harmony. So we got 12, 10, and 9 down here to 12 and 10, two times, and then just the first three notes, just like the other one, because it's matching it, you know, it's a harmony. And then it starts again, but it has a different ending. And that's 9 on the little E string with the 12 and the B string. On the higher one to starting on the twelve. Okay, so let's look at all the parts again. Here's the first part. And then we have the rhythm of the chorus. Then we had this thing. And that goes three times, and its harmony was this 12. So definitely try those with the record, and this is the real key of the record, this key of E. So give those little melodies a try, and then go play that second one and see how cool it sounds when you're hitting that harmony thing. Right, so those parts go three times each. Then we have that other part. So 9 and 7, 10 and 7, down to 9. And I use those fingers because those are like the stronger fingers for me, the easier fingers to work out. Maybe down here it would be a little different. I would switch over to that, you know. But up here where they're kind of closer, you can kind of pick and choose, use the fingers that you like to use more. The higher harmony of that was...
we have a big C. Biggest string is all the way down to a C. And then the A stays the same, and then this D goes down to a C also. The G stays the same, and this B has to come up to a C. And the E stays the same. So you end up having a C, and an A, and a C, and a G, and a C, and an E. First thing is going to be we're going to slide in from the second to third note on this fifth string. And we're going to use each finger on its own string. We're going to go fifth string all the way down to the second string. Now the we're going to switch the bass note, but we're going to keep the other notes the same. So Okay, so that's the first thing. Now the second thing, all we do to change that is we're going to go to the pinky down here on the highest string. Now that last one we want to go all the way down to the highest note, so it'd be we're gonna do that D string and G string there. Now we're gonna come and flip around here. We're gonna have a two here and a two here and a two on the second string. And that's because we need this pinky to pull off this note down here. Fifth string and second string to third string and fourth string. We go to that three down here in the little E, and as we pull that off, we're gonna hit that bass note, second fret on the fifth string at the same time as we pull that off. And we go up the strings that time, but we pull the two out of the way so we get it open there. So, so it ends up being dum 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 dum, D dum dum. three and open and now we switch to a new thing here so this is going to be five on the fifth string four on the third string five on the second string and we're going to hit the fifth string and the second string so we're going to go all the way to the high string there and then we're going to go boom 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 and then we're going to pull this one out of the second string so it's open. This case is back to the three and the open thing. So that whole part was like. So that does have the three open, 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 and then big open, open, open without going any lower. So. Once again to this part. Okay, now we're on to the new part. So we go fifth string to fourth string twice there. And then we go up to strings. So and there we have. So that's a hammer on here, open to three. And then third string, second string, big string, twice on the G. And that little part right there, that could be like kind of, you know, I developed my own little way of doing it or something, a little artistic license or something there. So here we go. This goes to the new part. Now the only thing that happens the second time is you do it open to two to three. Okay, now we got a new part. So that's just a quick two to three. And straight up the strings, four strings. And then you're gonna go. And that's like that chord from before. Two, two, open, two. Now that pinky's gonna slide up there. And as it slides to that four, you hit the, the bass note of the fifth string. So let's check that out again. We got.
So as you hit that bass, as you slide up to that four, you're gonna go. That's O four four four. Then you go O four open open. So we got. Okay, so that's twice in a row. Now this time, instead of doing it like we did the two times before, we're gonna go. So we gotta switch the first finger around to these fours. We're gonna do a four, five, four, hammer on, pull off there on the second string. And after we've done that, when it comes back to this four, that's gonna be the beginning with the bass note of a new phrase. So. So when we do that slide, the bass note hits, we do the four, four, and then we do that hammer on pull off. And we do the O oh, four 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 O oh, four four five. The whole thing there. And after we've gone back to the four, we got this new thing. We're gonna have a big bar in the fifth fret. He might have used his thumb or something on a smaller guitar than this one. This is, has a really wide neck. And I've found it easier to just kind of bar that whole thing over the years anyway. So you kind of slide in from just below this five. I have it written out as a four in the tab. But you're going to go slide into the fifth fret and skip the fifth string and go fourth, third, second. And then you're going to slide up to the seventh in the same way. And then do that two to three. Now at the end of that seven, I need to tell you, it's gonna go seven, 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 and then open on the second string there, so. Three to the open, five, seven, open there at the end. So four times of that. And it'll end on that G, that G string there. So I slid into the, from the two to the three, but it hit that three twice. And then I did third string, second string. Two, two, oh, two. Slide into the four as we hit that fifth string bass. Now this one's a little different because we're gonna go. And I pulled that four out of there at the end of that sos. second string and it's like before we we'll go to the big five so three times of this and then the fourth one is a little different so when we go to the seven, we're just doing big string and then fourth string, third string. So it does like three of them and the next one's gonna go to the very ending. Now that one stays with the four twice, so oh four 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 oh four four four. Now our last thing is so it's a hammer from four to five on the fourth string, and then open, open. And then you put this finger down in here, so you end up with a five, five, open, open. So four, five, open, open, and then five, five, open, open. 
then we get into a new shape here. We're going to have open on the fourth string and then seven, five open. And we're going to bring in this bass note here to alternate with. And then the third one of that, you can kind of slow down and get ready for the very last chord. I like to upstroke this with my thumbnail kind of. That's going to be all the open strings with that three down there. Okay, so let's review that last part. 